WAT6 on your side, legal analyst Greg Isaacs is here. Greg, as always, great to have you in the studio. It's good to be here, Bo. Uh, today we're going to take a look at why it can be tough to sue the federal government. Uh, we're thinking about this because of the lawsuits coming out of the Gatlinburg wildfires. A judge recently ruled that a lawsuit filed by insurance companies can go forward, but there is something called the discretionary function exemption that needs to be considered. So let's start there, Greg. What is it? Well, Bo, whether it's the federal government or state government, government makes it hard to be sued. Uh, it's amazing. You can sue uh, your neighbors, sue individuals, but very difficult to sue the government. And this has come to light uh, repeatedly in these Gatlinburg wildfire cases. Uh, basically, the government wanted the uh, plaintiff's cases dismissed under the discretionary function exemption. They said basically that the employees, uh, the Park Service personnel, uh, had the choice or discretion uh, to do or not do certain things. Uh, the plaintiff said, uh, not so quick, Uncle Sam. Uh, and and it, at issue was the park notification management plan. And basically what that provided, Bo, if there was going to be activities, planned, mm -hmm. unplanned, regarding fire management, uh, the Park Service had to uh, notify park residents, right. neighbors, or visitors. They had to post their activities on websites if available, and they had to designate a public information officer. Uh, it, it, it makes sense because you want your park neighbors and visitors uh, to know about the danger of a fire. If you'll remember, uh, in 2016, November 23rd, a small fire, uh, basically an acre and a half, started on the chimney tops. Uh, within five days, based on a drought, record high winds, uh, it ravaged the area, killed 14 people, uh, 2,400 structures were lost, $2 billion in damages, and the federal court, Judge Greer said, hey, those are not discretionary. Okay. Now, to, to be a discretionary function... I was going to say, what, what, what is the... What, I mean, what, what is what, what is cannot it? be exempt here? It yeah. has to be... Um, uh, to be not be discretionary, it has to be a, a act or okay. conduct uh, that is mandatory pursuant to a federal regulation or statute, a law, uh, secondly, it's got to be the type of conduct that comes within the intent of Congress or the legislation. And it makes perfect sense uh, that it can't be discretionary to tell your park neighbors or visitors you need to leave. There is a fire raging uh, on the property. So basically what, what the court held in a very common, commonsensical fashion, uh, in a very plain reading of the language of the fire management plan, you had to warn your residents, yeah. neighbors, and visitors. All right, Greg, as always, thank you very much. Shed some you light both. today. All right, thank you. Hey, if you have a question for Greg, uh, send him an email to askisaacs at wat.com. And be sure to tune in to WAT 6 on your side news at 530 every Wednesday to see if he answers any of your legal questions.